Funny how the weight of the world always seems to sit on black people's shoulders. And the calmness before the storm is always so peaceful. I mean, it's so beautiful that it's almost magic. Soothing enough to claim scary, I said, isn't it funny? How the palms of the wind cradle you and whispers everything is all right. And when you're not looking, those same hands rise to the one who they surrender to, too. And the knees of every breeze bows. Even the leaves got sense enough to prepare room for the storm that is to come. The temperature rocks you into shelter and whispers everything is all right. And so do black bodies, because we feel everything. You know, we be spiritual like that. While the symphony of what is natural becomes an orchestra in our bones. There's always one of us that get caught in the middle of God's masterpiece. Like we ain't the centerpiece. Like we can't masterpiece when the chaos is no more victims come out of hiding to see the damage that is to be done. The pain that was blood enough to spill. Just like an artist. I mean a black mama mourning. Trying to collect pieces to see if any repairs can be done or any remainders of her son similar to black bodies who walk down aisles of churches, swearing to give their life to Christ at their homies' funerals, promising they won't end up like the familiar sleeping canvas in the wooden box. I said, ain't it funny? How the process from wood to paper is so similar to black body. Isn't it funny how cycles repeat themselves? In elementary, we learned that coloring books often turn into obituary. Middle school taught us classrooms quickly become sanctuary. Art class become altar. And they still picture the sun in the corner of the paper. Like he don't shine everywhere. We know Crayola don't make shelters for angels' hands anymore. And by high school, we used to cases closing and caskets too. I mean, we try to be optimistic, but there's a collage of misery for college. Cause in the real world, the sun never shines. What sunsets do, ain't no prayer rooms, ain't no second chances. When it's safe to come out of hide and another storm is always brewing. Ain't no easel. And trust me, nothing gets easier. Just new rainfall to clean the brushes. So the next time you question a black child's creativity, consider what their perception of life is. Remember, the calmness before the storm is always peaceful. I mean, it's so beautiful that it's almost magic. Soothing enough to claim scary, and I promise you, ain't nothing funny about that.